China has just made a move that is sending shockwaves through the global economy. A secret deal worth more than $1 trillion is being whispered across financial and political circles. The prize at the center of it all is not oil, not gold, not even rare earth minerals. It is a fleet of revolutionary self-powered electric vehicles said to be developed from the work of Zimbabwe's young innovator Maxwell Chikambutso. For years, Chikambutso has been a name floating on the edges of global technology conversations. His claims of creating cars, drones, and generators that run without fuel or external charging have been met with skepticism and awe in equal measure. Many dismissed him as a dreamer, while others saw in him a visionary who had cracked the secret of free energy. Now, it seems China is taking his vision very seriously. According to multiple sources, Chinese state-backed corporations have quietly secured agreements to acquire the technology behind Chikambutso's self-powered EVs. This deal, estimated at over $1 trillion in value, would give China control over the first mass producible vehicles that never need to refuel or recharge. The implications of such a breakthrough are staggering. Imagine a world where cars, buses, and trucks can drive forever without plugging into a charger or stopping at a gas station. The very concept of range anxiety would vanish overnight. Infrastructure built around oil and electricity would become obsolete in a matter of years. And whoever controls this technology would not just dominate the automotive industry, but reshape the entire energy economy. The leaked details suggest that China is moving quickly, determined to lock this down before the United States can make a counter offer. Washington is reportedly caught off guard by the speed of Beijing's negotiations. For years, the U.S. has invested billions into battery research, charging networks, and green energy subsidies. Yet all of that looks primitive compared to the possibility of a self-powered car. If China succeeds in acquiring the full rights to Chikambutso's designs, it could leapfrog decades of American investment. This is not just about cars, it is about global power. In the leaked draft agreements, Chinese corporations promise to build manufacturing hubs not only in China but across Africa. They are positioning themselves as partners in African development while simultaneously securing exclusive rights to export the technology worldwide. For many African leaders, the proposal is irresistible. Billions of dollars in infrastructure, thousands of jobs, and the prestige of hosting the factories of the future. But behind the promises lies a larger strategy. China knows that controlling the supply of energy technologies means controlling the future. By locking down free energy vehicles, Beijing would have leverage over transportation, trade, and even geopolitics. Already, social media in Africa is buzzing with speculation. Some hail this as the dawn of a new age where Africa is finally recognized as the source of world-changing innovation. Others worry that this is yet another chapter in the long history of foreign powers exploiting Africa's genius for their own gain. Maxwell Chikambutso himself has remained silent in recent weeks. But those close to him say he has always dreamed of his inventions changing lives, not just in Zimbabwe but around the world. The question now is whether that dream will belong to Africa or whether it will be absorbed into the machinery of global superpower rivalry. Analysts note that the timing could not be more critical. The United States is heading into an election year, with energy policy already a polarizing topic. If news breaks that China is on the verge of monopolizing self-powered vehicles, it could send shockwaves through Wall Street and Washington alike. The auto industry, already reeling from the shift to electric vehicles, would face an existential crisis. Companies like Tesla, GM, and Ford would be left scrambling to compete with cars that never need charging. Elon Musk has often spoken about pushing humanity toward a sustainable energy future. But if Chikambutso's self-powered EVs go into production under Chinese control, Tesla's lithium-based empire could collapse overnight. Meanwhile, oil-producing nations are watching nervously. Saudi Arabia, Russia, and others built their economies on fossil fuels. A self-powered car fleet could decimate demand for gasoline in less than a decade. The ripple effects would be catastrophic for the petroleum industry. Yet in China's eyes, this is the ultimate opportunity. For years, Beijing has invested heavily in renewable energy, dominating the global solar panel and battery markets. Now they appear ready to take the ultimate leap beyond batteries altogether. In a leaked internal briefing, 
One Chinese executive is quoted as saying, This is the key to ending Western dominance forever. Bold words, but not without reason. Control of infinite energy on wheels would be the most disruptive technology since the invention of the internal combustion engine. It would reshape supply chains, trade routes, and even military logistics. Consider armies with fleets of self-powered vehicles that never need fuel convoys. Consider shipping companies whose trucks can drive endlessly without rest stops. Consider African nations suddenly standing at the center of a new industrial revolution. This is not science fiction. It is geopolitics unfolding in real time. The United States is reportedly scrambling to respond. Intelligence agencies are pressuring allies in Africa to delay or block the deal. Washington insiders are urging direct talks with Chikambutso to secure American access to the technology. But the clock is ticking, and Beijing has moved faster than anyone expected. For Chikambutso, this may be the culmination of a journey filled with struggle and disbelief. He was once ignored, laughed at, and dismissed as a fraud by mainstream scientists. Now the world's two largest powers are fighting over his creations. The leaked documents reveal something even more shocking. China is prepared to pay not only in cash, but also in infrastructure and political guarantees. They have pledged to build research universities across Africa dedicated to self-powered technology. They have promised to supply free vehicles to African governments as part of the rollout. In return, they want ironclad control over the patents and production rights. It is a bargain that could define the century, and it raises an uncomfortable question. What if Africa's greatest breakthrough is about to be owned by someone else? As whispers of the trillion-dollar deal spread, pressure begins to mount from every corner of the globe. American automakers fear collapse, oil giants fear irrelevance, and politicians fear losing control of the energy narrative. But for ordinary citizens, the thought of cars that never need fuel is nothing short of a miracle. The leaked reports describe vehicles capable of driving indefinitely, powered by electromagnetic resonance systems inspired by Chikambutso's earlier prototypes. Engineers who have seen the blueprints claim the cars could travel millions of miles without stopping for refueling or recharging. For a planet choking on carbon emissions, this represents not just a technological breakthrough, but an environmental lifeline. Yet the deal remains cloaked in secrecy, hidden behind layers of contracts, offshore entities, and government intermediaries. Behind closed doors, negotiators from Beijing push relentlessly to finalize terms before the story goes public. They know that once the United States fully realizes what is at stake, resistance will become fierce. Rumors suggest that Washington is already attempting to sabotage talks by offering African leaders counter deals. But China's pitch is simple. Africa deserves not just to provide raw materials, but to lead the next wave of innovation. By tying the future of self-powered vehicles to African soil, Beijing hopes to cement a permanent alliance. This is not charity, it is strategy. Africa becomes the birthplace of the technology, but China becomes its global distributor. The balance of power shifts overnight. As details leak further, analysts point to a bigger story. This is not just a business deal. It is a race for the future of civilization. Whoever controls self-powered EVs controls the backbone of global transportation. And whoever controls global transportation controls trade, energy, and war. The thought sends chills through military planners worldwide. Imagine naval fleets supplied by ships that never refuel. Imagine supply lines that cannot be cut. Imagine a superpower whose mobility is endless and unstoppable. These scenarios terrify strategists in Washington, London, and Brussels. The Pentagon has already begun emergency reviews of its vehicle programs to consider how to respond. But the truth is brutal, the United States is behind, and catching up could take decades. Meanwhile, Africa itself is caught in the middle of this storm. To some, the trillion-dollar deal represents long-overdue recognition of African genius. To others, it feels like deja vu, another resource being extracted before Africans can reap its true rewards. Maxwell Chikambutso, the man who sparked it all, remains enigmatic. His silence fuels speculation that he may already be under strict agreements preventing him from speaking publicly. If true, then his legacy is no longer his to shape. 
It belongs to the global powers that now fight over it. And so the world waits, holding its breath, as China edges closer to sealing a deal that could change history. A deal that could decide not just who leads the next industrial revolution, but who controls the very lifeblood of the modern world, energy. If finalized, this will be remembered as the trillion-dollar move that rewrote the rules of power forever.